It's going pretty good, but the runs are out of control. What's up guys? Welcome to the DMV channel. You may remember last week we got the roll cage all welded up. This week we're going to paint it, but first we need to get this garage cleaned up. Let's get to work. Last week we got it all welded up. I thought it turned out pretty good. It was really tough to get in some of the spots, but pulling the cage out, welding it up, putting it back in definitely helped. This week we got to get in some of those same spots. We got to knock off the little dingleberries that the uh, welder leaves behind and just generally get it cleaned up. The prep for the paint before we paint is definitely going to be the hardest part. That's what we're going to do first. So let's get it cleaned up, get it ready to paint. We got it all cleaned up, vacuumed out, sanded, looks good, ready to go. Now we're going to clean it up with mineral spirits, paper towels, get all the dirt, grime out of it. Hopefully get this sucker painted. All right, we got it wiped down, so... Never done this before. I read online that a lot of people like the hammered finish. We tried it on the floor and it didn't hammer out very well. So we have decided to try it again. But this time we're gonna foam brush it and roll it. So I've got cheap little foam brushes. We also got the uh, normal little bristle brush. It's all cheap, throw away. And we're going with the Rust-Oleum Hammer Gray. The reason we're going hammer is because it will soften some of the welds with the hammer, uh, make them not look as harsh. <laughs> That's a nice way to put it. And also the ability to touch this up, and it's pretty tough stuff I know from past experience, so it's gonna work out pretty good. We completely had to give up on the foam brushes. They were junk. The normal brush is working out pretty good. The foam roller works out really good. But honestly, for a brush, I am loving the way it looks and the texture looks fantastic. All right, it turned out pretty good. The texture really does kind of soften and hide. I don't know if hide's the right word, but it softens the welds, makes them look a little better, a little more professional. But that's it. I think it turned out pretty good. Thanks for joining along. Thanks for sticking it out to the end. Actually, helps us more than you know. We'll see you guys next weekend. 